Hi YouTube and welcome to not my boiler room but to my garden. Today I'm uh, shooting yet another VR to Leo Oldopold. This time it's about the, what superpower uh, I would want if I had a choice. And that's uh, part of his uh, 300 subs giveaway. And uh, it's going to be sort of a gloomy video, I think. Or, yeah, I know. So, to cheer me up, I'm smoking uh, some Mick McQuaid. And I didn't get it in a box when I ordered it. I just put the pouch in a tin, I suppose is the proper word. Now I've lost my uh, lighter. It's down there. And uh, I'm smoking uh, my homemade homemade ash pipe. Uh, and uh, actually, this piece of wood that I'm sitting on uh, is a piece of the same ash that I used for uh, for the pipe. We had three ash trees growing here, too close to the buildings, so we took them down. And uh, when I started thinking about the giveaway and uh, what superpower I would want. I first uh, had to think about if I wanted something that was just fun for me to have that would benefit me and my family or uh, benefit the whole world and that's maybe a bit ambitious but if you get to choose a superpower why shouldn't you be ambitious? And aim for something really, really powerful and good. So, I thought about what sort of superpower would uh, I be able to help the world the most with? But I couldn't really think of one. They all felt, I don't know, silly or or, or not enough. Uh, and 
the reason for that I think is or, or, or the reason I felt that, that I couldn't think of a superpower that was uh, strong enough or powerful enough is that I think the world is a mess and it's a complicated mess and there's not one thing it's not one easy fix it's really complicated so I sort of gave that up that idea because I, I, I uh, to be honest with you I think we're all fucked we're, we're, we're really fucked we've uh, as a species we've made a mess of things We got the upcoming elections in the US. And if uh, Trump doesn't win this time, someone else like him will win the next time. And that person will probably be worse from where I'm, from my viewpoint anyway. And there might be some Trump supporters watching this. Uh, it's not an attack on you as a person. I, I I just speak my mind about how it comes out to me. Or yeah, I think it, it'd make a, a poor president for the U.S. and a poor world leader. And we got Russia going more and more Stalinistic by the hour. And the EU, we're doing deals with the devil to keep uh, refugees coming here. And we're building walls and uh, we're making people die trying to reach our shores so, so yeah we're no good either and then there's the conflict in Syria and conflicts all over the world and climate change other environmental problems this is where the gloom comes I, I can't really say that uh, there's anything that can solve solve the mess we've made for ourselves. And uh, therefore I started thinking about a uh, uh, superpower that would uh, just benefit me and my family. And what I really want, and I don't know if that's a, uh, if that can be called a superpower, that would be the ability to keep my boys, my kids, out of harm's way. I'm not really sure how it would work, but I, I, I would want that ability to. to uh, I don't know, be forewar forewarned and be able to stop time and change the outcome of what's going to happen. That would be a great superpower for me. But it wouldn't benefit a lot of people. And uh, 
yeah, I don't know. This idea I've got that uh, things are aren't going that well, and there's really nothing we can do about it because it's it's all too complex and. Uh, And we as humans, as a population, we seem unable to, to get together and work in one direction, for one goal. This is a bit of a downer. Sometimes makes me feel depressed and that things are hopeless but that that doesn't mean that uh, one should give up trying or working for for change where you stand around you helping people that are going through rough times or that need help get engaged in involved in the Red Cross helping refugees get settled in the community and stuff like that. Uh, because I think that's really important. It'll make you grow as a person and it'll make a difference for the people you help. So I really urge people to do that. I did some of it before I got ill and I hope that I'll get well enough to start doing it again. And uh, I don't know. Superpowers are uh, a dangerous thing. Even if you got uh, good intentions, uh, there's a saying that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And I think there's there's uh, a lot of truth in that. The really, I think the, the only way to make a real difference is that if everyone uh, started doing good on the on a small scale in their lives and around them, and that that would be an awesome superpower to have the ability to. to give people the will and the energy and the motivation to do that. That would be an awesome superpower. And there are people that uh, they don't have it as a superpower, they have it as a personality or the way they live their lives and uh, act but they're they're just too few of them and too many of people like me that think that they ought to do something but they never seem to get out of the couch and actually do something No, I don't think I'll I'll continue. I've said what I had on my mind uh, regarding superpower, and uh, I'll finish my uh, make my quaid in my ugly but nice pipe.
and uh, I'll see you. Thanks for watching. Take care.